Let's read source 3 for the Trail of Tears investigation. It's titled Georgia State Laws. And it's within document set B, which is about conflict between Georgia and the Cherokee. So let's start by reminding ourselves of the central question, which is our purpose for reading this source. What is an important cause of the Trail of Tears that people should know about today? So let's read the attribution to see where the source comes from. Modified from law passed by the Georgia State Legislature on December 22, 1830. The laws went into effect in February 1831. Now let's go to the head note to find out more about the source. In 1802, the federal government and the state of Georgia made an agreement to have Georgia give up all of its land in what is now Alabama and Mississippi. In exchange, the federal government paid Georgia $1.25 million and promised to help Georgia acquire all the lands held by indigenous tribes. These are examples of Georgia making laws about that land. Okay, now we're ready to read the source itself. Let's read these Georgia state laws. An act to add the territory lying within the chartered limits of Georgia, and now in the occupancy of the Cherokee Indians, to the counties of Carroll, DeKalb, Gwinnett, Hull, and Habersham. All the laws, both civil and criminal, of this state are extended over said portions of territory. After June 1st, all persons shall be responsible for, the fo for following those laws. All laws, orders, and regulations of any kind that are made, passed, or enacted by the Cherokee Indians are hereby declared to be null and void, which means invalid, illegal. Such laws will have no effect. 